Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will examine plural nouns. It's easy to form the plural of a noun in English. One simply adds the plural ending s or es to the noun. The definite article the remains the same. German, unfortunately, is not that easy as there are several different plural endings. There are, however, some basic rules that can help us. Let's take a look at them now. Plural endings in German can be organized into roughly five groups. It is very important to memorize these endings when you memorize the gender of a noun. The first group consists of nouns that do not take a plural ending, although some of them may add an umlaut to the stem vowel of the noun. Most nouns in this group are masculine and neuter nouns ending in chien, lein, el, and en. The noun garten, garden, adds an umlaut in the plural, gärten whereas another noun, Fahrer, driver, does not. You will note that the definite article of all plural nouns is always die. The second group consists of nouns that add e for a plural ending. This group contains a large number of German masculine and neuter nouns having only one syllable. The noun Hemd, shirt, is a good example, Hemde. As you can see, with the noun Stuhl, chair, a few of these nouns also add an umlaut in the plural, Stühle. A few feminine nouns having only one syllable, such as Hand, hand, and Wand, wall, also add an e plural ending and an umlaut, Hände und Wände. The third group consists of nouns that add er for a plural ending. Most of the nouns in this group are masculine neuter nouns having one syllable. The noun Kind, child, belongs to this group, Kinder. The noun Bild, picture, also belongs to this group, Bilder. Many one-syllable nouns such as Buch, book, will add an umlaut in the plural, Bücher. As you can see with Mann, man, a few masculine nouns also add an umlaut in the plural too, Männer. The fourth group consists of nouns that add an N or EN for a plural ending. The nouns in this group are mostly all feminine. If the noun ends in a consonant such as Zeitung, newspaper, then EN is added. However, if the consonant is either L or R, such as Schwester, sister, then only N is added, Schwestern. Nouns ending in a vowel such as Stunde, hour, will also only add an N. However, if the noun ends in a diphthong, AU or EI, such as Frau, woman, then an EN is added, Frauen. All feminine nouns ending in IN, such as Studentin, a woman student, will have the plural ending NEN, Studentinnen. The fifth group consists of nouns that, like English, add a S for a plural ending. Most of these nouns, many of which end in a A or O, are of foreign origin and have been adopted into German. The noun Kamera, camera, is an example, Kameras. The noun Kino, movie theater, is another, Kinos. Finally, it is important to note that words of Latin origin ending in U.S. or U.M., such as museum, museum, add E-N in the plural, museen. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.